I have to say, buddy, I made fun of you a lot for being physically attracted to boats, but after your 50 rupees got me more time in the Phantom Hourglass, I have to say, I ship it. Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. Last time, we pretended to get the salvage arm. We can finally stop pretending that it's not in our boat. We have it, and we were able to do quite a bit of treasure hunting with it. Got more time in the Phantom Hourglass, some more ship parts, some more treasure, more everything, man. We were doing really, really well, and this time, since we've got so much money that we gotta spend, and we've gotten to see what all those free treasures had for us, I'm no longer feeling apprehensive about spending money on random items such as ship parts. We're gonna go straight over to Beetle's Shop Ship. Oh, Got one point, your point total is one. That sounds very condescending. This Goron Amber, we now know goes for 50 rupees. Not worth the trouble that it is. That sounded really weird. There's that bomb bag that I was telling you about. Thousand rupees will allow you to carry 30 bombs at one time. Not interested in dropping that much cash. But if I recall, iron it. Oh my God, yeah. 600 rupees though, 600 rupees. Let me see where I'd be standing if I bought this. Another reason why I like having the spreadsheet handy. I'm going for it. It's a lot of money and I might get one of these normally through a random mini game or the like, but I'm going for it. Thank you. Bye. And that brings your point total to seven. To earn, try to earn 20 points and earn a silver, mem silver membership. Silver membership. <laughs> the reason why this was all considered so important is not only do we need to fix up the salvage arm, but by going to the ship customization, we're gonna throw, that's not anchors. This is anchors. The iron anchor, the iron hull, and the chain handrail. It actually matches together pretty nicely. I was about to say that typically whatever, whatever gives you the best stat bonuses looks hideous because it's just a hodgepodge of whatever you have lying around though, but this is good looking. The cannon matches it very nicely, I have to say. the. Little, uh, the cabin on board doesn't really look so nice. Aside from that, uh, ship stamina is now five. For every match of three of a kind, of most sets, you'll get a bonus of one heart container for the ship. At five of a kind, it becomes two. At eight of a kind, it becomes three. But now, that's all the preparation that there was to do. I sound like I'm ending things off though, don't worry though, I'm not quite that mean. I I might do cliffhangers a lot and we've kind of been oddly cliffhanger free this journey and it might be about time to fix that in the near future, but uh, I'm not quite that mean that I'm gonna be uh, ending things that quickly. Um, you understand how it is. Uh, going to leap into the air. Wow, this looks cool actually, like wow. Uh, there's an anchor on both sides, I guess for added security. Wow, this is a really cool looking ship. I guess also the wooden wheel doesn't match all that well. I feel like we could conceivably have a really awesome ship here. So, there is nothing here. But that's just a surface level evaluation. There was a blue rupee hiding here the entire time. No wonder the Ocean King thought this place was so important. Oh, that's dirty. That is dirty birdie. I'm not even gonna try for that. If it was 100 rupees, you bet your sweet bippies I'd risk my bacon for it. This means the sun key. This key is the same shape as a crest that you saw. How nonspecific. <laughs> Strange looking key you got there. It's shaped like the sun, but what's that supposed to mean, kid? I know the last place we saw it, we were told to write it down. Molita Island. Ooh, I drew that nicer on the slate than I drew it on the actual map. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> No, we haven't been in danger of dying yet at any time that we've been on the boat. I think close as we were was down to two heart containers, but it just 
just feels so safe having that five up there. It's such a good number, and oh, I spoke at a good time. What is it? What? That nasty thing is between us and the island, kid. Oh, it's weak spot is, well, I guess if I knew, we wouldn't be in this too. <laughs> At least he's honest. But the weak spot's gotta be uh, on its body somewhere. One thing I do know, chart a new course so that we stay on the move around it. Don't be a bob, a bob and log. Evade attacks while you watch for its weak spot. If that thing is closed with any attacks, blast away with the cannon. You're gonna draw a route right away. It will not move so long as you are doing this. And I just kind of go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. This is letting me go a very long time. Ow. Whoa! Uh I am so sorry, Lionbeck, but this is what you're gonna be putting up with now. <laughs> Just gonna stay in motion and it's a Zelda boss. You hit it in the eye with a projectile. If you are forced into using projectiles, it's what you do. This is a larger version of those eye plants launching the same type of projectiles that they do. Basically, whenever it's not shooting, uh, we are too far away, aren't we? Uh, no, I barely got it, okay. Uh, sorry, Lionbeck, though, but you're getting new orders. <laughs> sound. I'm impressed how long it lets you draw on that. The eye goes in. Pop that. Pop that. And we... Okay, I guess we don't have to pop that one because it just disappeared, as crystals are known to do. This thing, if I recall correctly, it just takes so many hits to bring down. We are, we're on hit number three right now, and it doesn't show any sign of slowing down. I remember that this went on way longer than I thought it would back the first time that I did it. And all the times beyond that. I remember just getting really annoyed at this thing. So that's four hits. I don't remember exactly how many it goes on for, so we'll see if I'm right together. Oh, nope, not today. You got me. I really didn't know this thing was going to attack us right here and now. I knew that there were certain required points in the story where it would attack you when you were going to a place that you had to go. Uh, oh, that was bad. Okay, I needed to turn more. Turn towards it. There it is! My younger self's patience was a wuss. I don't see how I thought that went on forever. Maybe I was just shooting it constantly, not seeing that the eye had gone inside of it because of the small screen. That's the only thing that comes to mind. Man, I don't even know what happened there, man. I don't, I don't know how I thought that. Uh, you girl, what do you say now? A big monster just appeared in the sea. Too scary. You'll get a terrible case of the shears if you go even go if you even see that thing. It's really hard to get through that last sentence. Talking is her, and I realized part way through the sentence I didn't have to keep talking is her. Ah, uh, okay. Now, what did this shop have? I remember that it had something of interest. Yes, power gem. I think maybe what I'll do. We got one here. I believe that the shop inventory is actually shared with Mercay Isle, where it's the same shop. So if you buy this one here, you will not be able to buy the one on Mercay Isle anymore. But it'll just be good to remember, because we're at, I think, seven power gems right now? Yeah, seven. So it's getting awfully close to being able to be um, used as an upgrade, and that's kind of the thing that I've been waiting for. How have things been going with you? After you found that hideaway, my son Romano saw things in a new way. Now we can, can now all he can talk about is wanting to become an explorer too. I'll be sad when he leaves. But a parent's duty is to let her child pursue his dreams, don't you think? I feel so sad for this lady. She, his kid's now following in his father's footsteps, but maybe not in a way that makes her particularly happy. But she's just kind of supporting him anyway. Hey, kid, I checked out my dad's real hideaway. I, I had no idea that's what he meant. I go in his own way. I go in his own way. That is. I see why he had to leave our island. To fritter away my days worrying about rupees, that's no way to live. I must pursue my dreams and become an even better explorer than my dad was. Now, what's my first step, I wonder? Aw, nice to see you pursuing things a little bit more. We heard about the, uh, the sun key. Not, not wrong button, twice. Uh, yeah, you can actually use the D-pad to bring up the menus. 
It's really weird though, it's not bringing it out in the direction tapped. You bring out the menu that's in the direction of the button that you pressed. Just kind of another shortcut that could be used if you don't want to reach down and be tapping on stuff all the time whenever time is short. I can see somebody not liking the time objectives with um, having to reach over and tap on the menu. There's those. And now... The sun key door has been opened. And we see that there's a treasure chest up there on that ledge. To me, that sounds like an invitation to dig. I kind of wish that was a hidden hole so you had to like dig all around to find it though, but I'm not gonna complain about another easy wisdom gem. That's pretty catching up pretty nicely to the power gems too. Next up, we got new trees just when you thought they were out of assets. <laughs> I'm very glad that we're seeing some variety in these locations. I kind of wish the rest of the island had a more kind of wetlandy look to it. If they were going to bother to make those for this place. Uh, there you are. Thought you could hide behind the tree and fool me. Well, buddy, it's a little thing called perspective. I'm very happy that you're aware of it. Roll into these trees. And I've had some of you tell me that you guys had the big green rupee pop into the ocean and you weren't able to get it back. And... That's cruel. I didn't know that that could happen, but a lot of you told me that you roll into trees in just the right way that it just plops into the ocean and you can't even get it and it never comes back. That's a bad design, and I never really knew about that. Osha's home has a storehouse. That storehouse is a tree outside, and its roots hide a buried prize. Dig there. Dropping everything and doing this because it's the only way that I know how to live. That almost rhymed. Treasure map. Link, you got a little something in your hair. That's gonna send us on another tangent, wouldn't you say? It better not have an iron anchor in it. That's all I can think. The Neptuna? No! Tangent within a tangent, we're doing it. Come on! This thing does evoke a strong response for me the second that I see that it's even remotely close to me. I can very much see how old people spend their lives wasting away, chasing after some kind of giant fish in forms of fiction. No, no, stop. I I have bigger fish to fry, literally. These two fish shadows are getting really close to each other. Uh, I don't care. I, I really don't care. Okay. Fishing also cancels enemies. I guess you could say it's efficient. Wait, is that, is that not the Neptuna? Is that just the rusty swordfish? It's the rusty swordfish, and no stowfish either. And it's gone. So the swordfish icon can potentially not be the Neptuna. We're right on top of where we had to be anyway. That's kind of funny. It's like it was fate or something. You know, it wasn't the Neptuna that you were hoping to catch, but the journey getting there. Worn handrail. Just rolling in all the handrails. Now this brings up a situation that you're going to be faced with quite a lot. In the spreadsheet that I've linked before uh, to tell you about the ship parts, I've listed all of the ship parts that are of the same type in rows for good reason. We now have three of a kind within the same within two different series, but two of them overlap because we have the chain handrail currently, but we just got the worn handrail, which tops off on three of a kind on that one. This is a case where if we just had one more part in either the iron series or the vintage series we could have two sets of three of a kind at the same time, and that would give us another heart container on top of what we currently have. That'll be something to be on the lookout for. Dealt with the Night Knights again to get yet another 20 rupees. It's always appreciative that those respawn every time you leave the area and come back. It's good, easy money. Not like there haven't been a lot of other good ways to get good, easy money, but still, thought I'd bring it up. There's another one of those heads that we saw back on Murkay Island that had no apparent purpose. Whoop. Goodbye. It, where'd it go? Uh oh. <laughs> There's that perspective. See, the enemies are using the old noodles. Uh, Takuri, Takuri, or Crow, sorry to call you by the wrong name. I deserve to be beaten by you. These trees are actually quite a lot bigger and are a bit more satisfying to bash your head against as a result. That sentence may or may not be good life advice. You decide. Pose... Debt. That looks good. Only statues can urge the temple door to open, so focus their light gaze on it. 
It's better not have a big ruby in it. Thank you. <laughs> I'm now, now I'm getting worried now that you've told me that that can apparently happen because I've never seen it before, and I know it's going to catch me off guard the first time that it does happen. Nothing, nothing. Ha! Oh, got it. Nope. Nope. Hitting that with our sword activates it, and tapping on it again means that we can adjust it. By looking at the map on the top screen, you gotta adjust it to be on the door. I think you see how all this works. It's pretty simple, but it's still creative no less. Oh, hello! People were telling me that these guys were called like, gizzards or something. It's another name that these things are known by in sort of official texts. Uh, I'm going with Zoro Warrior because, well, actually I think Zoro Warrior is what it's called in the, um, oh, sorry, Geozards. That's what they're called, Geozards. It's like Charizard if he was a ground type. That's what it is. Uh, the name is contradictory depending on the sources you go with. It's yet another case of names being a little bit weird because Prima Guides is the only official English text this game has ever had in many capacities. Come on. There you go. <laughs> Gizzards. <laughs> All right, so I guess this enemy's name is my weakness. Oh, whoa, okay. Hit you from the back. Not quite. Hit you from the back. There it is. By plinking off the shield, it cancels the stun. Be very careful, you get plenty of stun time to get it right. And for doing so, we won a statue. This is why the goddess never sends an adult on these journeys, because if he was any taller, he would have gotten his head blown clean off. And then over this way, no, not over this way. Um, where are you? I know I saw you. I know I saw this thing. I always feel bad when I can't find something that I just saw a few seconds ago. Uh, oh, over there, uh, okay. Well, if all I have to do is strike you in order to activate your light and you're already facing the right way, then that's pretty clever. Pretty, pretty clever, and that's cool looking, wow. This place is shaping up to be one cool dungeon already, and we've already made it to the next one. Not quite as long of a gap between one and two. I say we got a lot done on the way here. Next time on The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass, we enter this very next temple and try to get the spirit of courage back. See you guys then.